Hey everybody, how's everyone doing? I uh, I haven't done a video in a while, so uh, I apologise for that. I've been a bit busy lately, uh, but I thought we'd get into this next uh, video. Meet Rocket Eight, who is uh, Jay Refner, who was recommended to me. He's a great predator to do. Um, he's just he's he's your classic guy. He's got he's got everything you he's got everything you could ever need. He is probably in my top five most hated on this TV on this TV show, just because he's such a he's such a little dweeb. You know, he's such a little you know just a dork who just thinks he's yeah. Anyway, whatever. We'll get into it. I'm sure. Um, he's got some great lines. So yeah, let's get into it. Let's go. Locals know everybody. People talk, and they know just about everything that's going on in the town. We do have a rather high profile when we come into a small town. All right, let me get this camera, because I'll put a mount on the bottom with butyl. We <laughs> move into... I forgot, there's all this intro bullshit I should have skipped. ...this house to do our investigation. And there's guys with cables and climbing up poles and setting up ladders and doing things. It, uh, I think, did raise a little suspicion in this, uh, in this quiet neighborhood. All right, here we go. I've got to run next door and get the cops this log. Yeah. Log coming your way, Mike. When a date is made for one of these men to visit, we get a copy of the chat log from Perverted Justice so we can go through it. Separately, at some point, uh, perverted Justice provides a copy to... I'll just skip that bullshit with Chris Hansen, otherwise we'll be we'll be here all fucking night. Okay. Next up, Meat Rocket. Yeah, that, and his name. Let's... Oh, for fuck's sake. Let's discuss that name, Meat Rocket. You know, does this guy look like a guy who has the name Meat Rocket? And what even is Meat Rocket? Like, that is the most just disgusting... Like, what does it even mean? Meat rocket. Ugh. And, like, does that reflect what he is? He's a pasty, fat guy. Guy. Um, yeah, I don't think it does. Wait till you hear his voice. Hey, come on in. I just gotta get my coat off. Freezing out, dude. <laughs> just hang out the bar for a second. I'll be right back, okay? Okay, dude. Okay, dude. True. Do you have a hard time finding the place? Not at all. How are you? Good, day. Good, how are you? I'm doing good. What can I do for you? Ooh, I fucking hate that line. What can I do for you? I just walked into your house at three in the morning, or whatever time, two in the morning this is, and say, what can I do for you to the guy in the suit? Come on. That was my question to you. What can I do for you? What? I, I have no patience at the best of times. <laughs> so I, if someone said, what can I do for you? I would be like, what can I do for you? You know, if I was Chris, I wouldn't be able to keep my composure. Who are you going to meet here tonight? Sarah. Sarah. Sarah is how old? She's 15. 15. Well, she just said that, yeah. Yeah. And, and how old are you? I'm 30. My name is Jay. Jay. Chris, nice to see you. Nice to meet you too. Nice to see you. Chris has got a, he's classy man. Nice to see you. I use that too when I meet someone. I, I don't say, how are you? Because that's quite common where I'm from, you know. It's pretty casual. We're pretty casual here, you know. <coughs> no, but I say, nice to see you. you know, I just adopt it. Why not? Who gives a fuck? To be quite honest with you, I'm not at all in any way, shape, or form, you know, some sort of pedophile or anything like that. Do you I'm just... I'm not a pedophile. I am at this house with condoms at two in the morning to meet a 15-year-old girl. You often come to visit young girls after chats on the internet? Never. Never. Did you bring anything with you tonight? Such as? Condoms. Oh, he knew he was going to bring that up. You know, you could see it. Such as what? What do you mean? Such as what? I didn't bring anything. What, are you going to look in my pockets? Condoms? Oh, fuck. Yeah, I did. Yes, I did. You but did. You brought condoms. So however, you're just going to kick back and chat, and just in case something happened, you brought condoms. Yeah. Look, here's the deal. Will you put them on the table, please? I'm sorry? The <laughs> now, there's a lot of um, speculation. People think that Jay mishears him when he says, put them on the table. You know, people think he says, Chris Hansen says, put them on. 
That's why he goes, I'm sorry. You know, and I think that's what it is. It's pretty funny, actually. There you go. So you had a big night plan, huh? No. Please listen to me. Oh, God, got nothing but time. Got nothing but time. That's another great line. Chris is on fucking fire. There's nothing, I swear. I don't want to do anything, you know? I oh, listen to it. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to hurt anyone. I just wanted to talk. I swear to you, you know, she... How were you going to use the condoms in the I wasn't going to use them at all. Well, you got them in your pocket. Well, yeah, you, I do. You going to do balloon tricks with them? Or? No. <laughs> well, come on. I mean, I am. There's, there's only one reason, typically, that people bring condoms to a home, and that's for protection during sex. Yeah. And there are you only know, two people in this right. house. As far as you know. As far as you know, yeah. you and a 15-year-old girl. So. And it's a little bit of a gray area, the 15-year-old thing, because this guy really got a slap on the wrist. I think he got 60 days in jail or something. You know, re really nothing compared to, like, you know, um, Dustin McFetridge, Lorne. Oh, he, this guy's in as bad as them. I, I hate this guy just as much, just because he's such a, you know, a, a dweeb. But um, I wish they w it was a 13-year-old girl or something, just so that he would have got more time. Because a 15 is kind of gray area, you know. Uh, it's not quite as bad, but it is still bad, but it's not quite as bad, you know what I mean? Yeah. What am I to think about this? I've got a family at home. I love them dearly. You know. You have kids. Yes. How old are your kids? I have one. You have kids, you know. <laughs> one daughter and two st stepsons from my wife's previous marriage. So if your daughter was home alone and some guy who was 30 came to visit, you would feel how? I understand, sympathize, very upset. Here's a guy who's got a, a wife and child at home, and, and he's out on a weekend night, you know, several miles away at a stranger's home to meet a young teenage girl. I mean, what excuse did he give to, to go there? Yeah, that's a good point, you know. What excuse would a, would a family man, family man, what excuse would he give? I don't, I don't know, because I myself have... A, not a wife, but a partner. A partner. I've got a girlfriend too. And and a child. And I, I wouldn't be able to go away on a weekend night without them being like, where the fuck are you? <laughs> you know, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just, um, uh, I don't know. You know, what do you say? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm boring. I don't even go anywhere. So <laughs> they'd be like, where are you going? You don't go anywhere. But yeah, I guess meet Rocket. Would have told his wife that he was at the bar or something, you know, with his mates that he doesn't have. I don't know. I would have loved to know. The realization of what he's really doing hits home with him. And you can see this in his face. You're a virgin, eh? I bet you're scared of that, she says. Why would that scare me? Guys are always scared of that. Actually, I find it quite <laughs> Look at Chris smirking while he reads the chat. Sir, I, I know what I wrote. Do you mind if I take off my coat? Please, go ahead. Thank you. And he is perspiring. I mean, these are your words, right? Yeah, they okay. completely are. I'm not going to lie to you, sir. I'm honored to be considered the candidate for your first. <laughs> Again. Playful chat. I Playful chat? It sounds like you're excited about the fact that she's a virgin and you might be the first man to have sex with her. Right? Sir, I really wasn't going to do that. He knows he's in trouble at this point. Yeah. You know, he, he, he's starting to admit what he was up to. He's anxious. He's perspiring. <laughs> to see it. And he just really wants this to be over. There's a couple things you need to know. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC. We're doing a story on adults who meet teens oh. on the internet. If you have anything else you'd oh, like to say... Oh, and here comes a great part of this video coming up. Say, we'd be happy to hear it. <laughs> that little glance back. I love it. On adults who meet teens on the internet. And why are you putting your coat on? You know, it's gonna. you're only going from there to there. And your car's just out that door. So what are you... 
Why are you putting your coat on? Just take it with you. Yeah, then. Who cares? You're not even going to be cold for long at all. Anything else? You don't look like a guy who gets cold. Anything else you'd like to say, we'd be happy to hear it. Oh, and he's got a little little bald spot there too. Gross. Gross. <laughs> nah, not gross, but just funny because it's Jay Rifter. <laughs> Why'd you bring the condoms? And this is his interrogation where they fucking grill him. And I might just bring this up now. Um, he's, I've got his chat log up. Um... And, oh my god, I had it up. Yeah, here we go. The decoy insults him the entire time. And this fucking guy's into it. Look at this. Lol, what, what's your name then? I'm Sarah. I am Jay. Nice to meet you, Sarah. Jay is kind of a gay name. What the fuck? <laughs> you could never say that in today's day and age. Jay is kind of a gay name. What the fuck? I can't live without you, low duh. That's why you're all in my box. I bet you'd like me in your box. Oh my god, what a fucking loser. What a fucking loser, man. Oh, look at this sick cunt. I can't, I can't read that. I ain't getting preggers. Yeah, this guy's... I, I haven't actually read this, so, um... Oh, here we go. Praying for the old meat rocket. Note to all males in the real world. That line doesn't work. Okay, thanks, perverted justice. I would never have known that saying that to a girl it doesn't work. Doesn't quote-unquote work. Yeah, honestly, thank you. <laughs> and down here we've got the sliminess scale. I, I swear all of them are... All of the sliminess is a three... On this perverted justice sliminess scale, should we vote? Let's vote. Let's vote five. Why not? Yeah, we voted. <laughs> I voted. <laughs> anyway, let's keep. Let's give it. Let's get back into it. Because it was dumb. Do you normally wear condoms dumb. while you're having sexual intercourse with your wife? No. Okay. Gross. Why did you buy the condoms today? Because you intended to come here no, to my because, county well, and have sex with a 15 year old female. To my county. <laughs> I don't think he, he did it to go to your county. I think it, he would have done it whatever county uh, uh, Sarah was in, right? She told you that she didn't want to get <laughs> preggers. You said that you didn't want to There it is. I don't want to get preggers. Not that either. Does your wife know where you're at right now? No. Where is she at right now? She's with my daughter on a camping trip. Close enough, man. The collateral damage is sad. You know, I, I do feel for for his wife and kid, kids. You know, I don't know why Mrs. Riffner would choose you out of however many males there are in the world. She chose you, and you're out there playing up on a weekend night, Jay Riffner. Fuck you, Jay Riffner. I don't like you. I really don't like you. I just you're not you're not the worst predator. I just don't like you. If you're watching this, I don't like you. Right to remain silent, you understand that? Mm -hmm. Anything you say, you can't want to be used against you in the court of law, do you understand that? Your mom's a city prosecutor and your dad's a cop. You should probably have a little bit more common sense about things that we're doing out here tonight, okay? Yeah, so his mom is a prosecutor and his dad's a cop. And, yeah, not that smart. Interesting thing about Jay Ruffner is, once he's arrested and processed and taken in for questioning, it turns out that his mother is a prosecutor in a nearby county, and his father uh, was a police officer. My attorney is my mother. Okay. Oh, I gotta die to him. It's gonna die. Oh. My attorney is my mother, and you know his mother has bailed him out before. Probably look, you know, probably um, spoiled him his whole life. He looks. Yeah. He looks like he's never missed a fucking meal. Now how do you pick up the phone and tell your mother, the prosecutor, <laughs> that you just got arrested in a sting operation for trying to meet a young teenage girl for sex? How do you, how do you, how do you put that into words? Hey, this is Jay. This is no joke. Um, I'm at the Dark County Sheriff's Office. I've been arrested and charged. Um, I don't know what's the charge again. Hold on a second. 
Attempted, hello? Attempted unlawful sexual conduct with a minor. If I hate how he says that, with a minor. She comes down here, can she see me? No. The attorney? Yes. She's my attorney? The attorney, yes. Yes. You can. Ooh, he's arrogant. I don't like him. Fuck you, Jay Riffner. His mother, the prosecutor, even represents him at his court appearance. May I please the court? My name is Carol Ruffner. I'm here for the limited purpose of this appearance. Does your client understand the nature of the charges? He does. The, the defense is requesting that the court consider releasing the defendant on his own recognizance. He is not a flight risk. Well, imagine what Mrs. Ruffner is going through. I'm sure she could have easily have said, look, I don't want anything to do with this. But she stood by her son. And, and helped him get through the first uh, phase of uh, uh, the judicial process. Yeah, and that's that's enabling, in my opinion. That's enabling him. Because anything he does, he just gets bailed out. And I know a lot of people who just are just enabled, not necessarily to catch a predator stars, but, you know, I just feel like no one... I, don't, I, I know very few people... I'm I'm speaking in generalities here, but can anyone take responsibility? You know what I mean? No one seems to be able to do it. You know, when when I do something wrong, I, I don't do something wrong where I'm meeting a 15-year-old, right? Whatever. But when I do something wrong, when I, if I, I say, oh, my fault. I, 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 it's my fault, whatever. And I just feel like you just get over it so much quicker and and get to the next to the next task so much quicker. When you do all this bullshit, you just look like a, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. I'm a little bit tired, so that's why I'm sort of rambling about nothing, but, and I also think I've got coronavirus, because I've been sick for a week to ten days, but yeah, all good. Let's continue. Set bail at the 2500 cash through your property. Thank you, Mr. Ruffer, for your appearance. <laughs> Yeah, 60, 60 days in jail. Hey look, tattoo on upper right thigh, skunk, with Cheryl. Is that what that says? He lives in Finley, Ohio. A skunk. A skunk? Why would you get a skunk tattooed? Born in 75. Hmm. He's only 64 kgs. That's pretty light. Lightweight. Yeah, anyway, that's uh, about it. I've got this here, uh, which is his, his wiki, you know. Uh, he's not that interesting, really. I, I, I tried to get his much. I just don't like this guy. I just don't like him, so I thought I'd do a video on him. I just don't like him. Um, so I think that'll do it for this one. Any recommendations, leave them in the comments, and I will do them. I am honoured to be considered the candidate for your first time. <laughs> Joe, Jay showing that chivalry is, in fact, not dead. Yeah, he's, he's, he's got a, good, a few good lines. Maybe I'm just too tired to appreciate them, but whatever. I think that'll do it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys on the next one.